Yes. Some autumn. Yes. Couple of questions about the about the bull. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, in the games, the bull had names engraved on its head. Well, they weren't on its head. It was on a, <coughs> a piece of armour plating that was on its head. Okay. So, how many names were on? No, there? I, can't, I can't remember. Can't remember. Does anyone know? Sorry. Will Wait. somebody know? Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, and they're all names of people who, if I remember correctly, were felt to be important to the to be important. history of Birmingham. Uh, okay. and there was a reason for all of which I can't remember to mm. Interesting. Uh, we, we made the armour plating, but we didn't put the names on it. Oh, you didn't put the names on it? Yeah, that was done by another contractor. Mm -hmm. That was done by another contractor. No, it was <coughs> the ceiling painter. Oh, it was Came painter. Along, oh, I see. That makes sense. In terms of the name, Autumn, where does that originate? Ars est salari artem, which means uh, the artist to conceal the art. Who conceal the art? Yeah, so it, when you look at something you don't think about as art. Right. Just, you know when you guys first got this installed? Because I believe that this mechanical bull represents previously a uh, golden ball, should we say? More like. I'll take your word for it. I don't, I don't think that's what it You don't think that's what it represents? No, it represents um, the, the history of Birmingham. Um, but there are so many aspects of Birmingham's history and industrial past. <laughs> and of course, the, the bull that was the original bull ring was in Birmingham. Mm. So on the mechanic side, it's because of the industrial history of Birmingham. So what is it exactly that you're concealing? Sorry? What's, what is the art that you're concealing? It's not, it's not like you misunderstand it. Praise. So is it sealing the eye? Oh. If anything we do, which originally was film and TV, like, oh. like a rain effect, we made rain. Mm. You didn't want to be looking at it as a rain effect, you wanted to just accept as part of the story. Mm. I mean, I, I understand the concept of it all, yeah. but to me it's very, it's very occult-minded because symbology in all types of different sects of cult. You know, masonry being one of the main ones, and then... I don't, I don't know that to do with this cult. <laughs> this represents, in the past, is uh, industrial revolutions. Yeah. Now this is representing the fourth industrial revolution, because this piece is now coming to life. And what is in the what is prophesied in the Bible, in the Book of Revelation, it's not just in Birmingham. It's across the whole entire world. The moral decay of society, and a whole, people don't know what gender they are, what a man, the definition of a man or a woman anymore. Everyone's at war. Everyone's arguing. <laughs> technology, technologies to the point where they're going to be implanting some type of technology, whether it's micro needle array patches, which the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are working on across with over 200 other organisations. So, um, so all this technology I, I, all I, all is I here. Is yeah. I, I designed this, but it didn't have anything to do with symbolism other than the industrial past. So this doesn't, this doesn't represent a, 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 a coming to life of a new industrial revolution because if there's so much no. chatter and all this dancing and stuff so what what about at the ceremony when did you was you responsible for the tower of babel no no so why is it called the tower of babel because that's out of the bible as well and the the we tower call, of babel it, it a, a, a wedding cake. the wedding cake <laughs> But they call it the Tower of Babel because God split the languages into 72 different languages. Right, I'll take the word for it. At the Tower of Babel. 
and the 72 crystals for divination, the shards of light. Thanks for talking to me, my friend, and just know that God loves you. Jesus Christ died on the cross for you, and he wants to show you his fullness of love. So, the first message that Christ preached was, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And it is. So I pray that, you know, you seek the Lord, and God bless you, man. Nice talking to you, sir. What was your name, sorry? Mike. Mike. Nice talking to you, Mike. God bless you, mate. God bless you.